All right, guys, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video. Um, I've got a 2012 Impala here that needs the TPMS reset, and I was trying to do it some of the ways I was seeing on YouTube with uh, going around letting some air out of the tires. Um, wasn't working, and then I found an article that said you actually need to have a um, special tool, like I have right here, for a uh, 2012 and up Chevy GM vehicle. Uh, I'm not sure, don't quote me on the year, but I believe it's 2012 and up, and this happens to be a 2012 Impala. So. I'm going to go, go ahead and show you how to reset the TPMS um, on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and calibrate it here. It's pretty easy. It takes a few minutes and uh, hopefully helps someone out there because it took me a little bit of fooling around before I figured out that I needed one of these. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. All right, guys, what you want to do is go ahead and have the key on, car in park. It can be running, not running. And then go ahead and hold your lock and unlock buttons um, at the same time. And you're gonna see tire learning active. Grab your tire learning tool. And we're gonna go around here. And you're gonna notice that the uh, turn signal light is lit up right there for the left, uh, left front. So you're gonna take your tool, you're gonna to put it right by the uh, bottom of the TPMS sensor. I found it works well with where the dot is too, but. Um, Right below the base of it on the tire seemed to work greatest for me. So just hold the button. Okay, car responded. So we're gonna move on to this side and you'll see that the light here actually lights up nice and bright, letting you know that this is the next one to do. Go ahead and get your tool down there, hold the button. There we go. Moving on to the right rear. Go ahead. Hold your tool, again, right by the sensor. And then you'll hear the car beep again. And then we're gonna go do the other side, which is the left rear. And after this one, you'll hear two beeps. And that's when you know you're done and the car has learned all the sensors. And there you go, she's done. That easy, guys. And basically I'm going to show you here so your light should go off and it actually wants to calibrate so it wants me to drive um, but um, your light should go off if it doesn't just go ahead and turn the key off um, start the car back up it'll be gone and then when you go to info uh, let's see oh sorry that was actually the compass calibration um, so your TPMS is all good to go so now it says left front right front left rear and right rear and you're good to go. Hey, also guys, link in description for the tool that I used. Um, really cheap, worked really well, I'd highly recommend it. Alrighty guys, so if this video helped you out, I hope it did, because uh, <laughs> I wanted to save somebody else some time because I was fooling around with it for a little while. But go ahead and like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff, doing things yourself on vehicles. Also leave a comment down below, let me know if it helped you out or any, if you can specify the years this might work on. Uh, that'd be great to help some other viewers out. But until next time guys, always be sure to get out do it yourself.